Hi everybody. Hey, it's been a while since I made a video. Wanted to uh, give you a little bit of an idea of what's been going on with the project over the last probably six months here or so. So uh, let's get into it here. Well, it starts with uh, kind of taking out a uh, six liter, got a six liter uh, uh, LT Vortec engine out of my 2500. So I took that engine and kind of revamped it, went through, resealed it. Uh, I've got some resealed the oil pan, uh, put new uh, head gaskets on it, new knock sensors. Uh, we have uh, kind of a new serpentine, new serpentine uh, system here. So going to the single with this guy instead of the two belt kind of like there used to be with the AC compressor on the uh, I was out of a 2000 Chevy 2500 so we've got the sending uh, AC compressor over here uh, that'll be it'll go with the uh, man what do they call it no. <laughs> vintage air sorry that will eventually get hooked up with a vintage air system um, when we get to that step in the process. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I uh, uh, got a new starter on it because that solenoid was bad. Uh, I think we're using the same uh, same coil packs. We did go and replace the, uh, the water pump, so we got a new water pump for it. Uh, kept the alternator, it was kind of fairly new, so didn't do anything with that. <clears throat> uh, definitely put valve cover gaskets on both sides, uh, and basically just cleaned it up. Uh, new motor mounts. So new motor mounts with uh, nice clean inserts, new power steering pump because the other one was it was getting tired. Uh, kind of resealed the fuel rail and let's see what else. Oh, I think we replaced the regulator up here too. We did that. Let's see, we've got. Uh, we got new uh, brake lines here from uh, I think Skyjacker. We also got new new shocks, front shocks from Skyjacker. So those are all all in place. Let's see. We got uh, we got a fuel pressure uh, regulator up here. We we're gonna go with the Corvette style, but we. Might eventually do some force induction, so we ended up going with something we can kind of turn turn down or up if we need it. So that's kind of the reason we we went with that. Uh, new oil pressure sending unit. New transmission dipstick. Uh, you can tell that the transmission has been uh, cleaned up and painted. Uh, we also did put a new front seal, new front pump seal in here because the old one was getting a little bit uh, tired as well. So the other thing we had to do here on this drivetrain is we had to get, uh, we had to take the transfer case and we had to get an adapter so that we could turn this big fella. I'm going to go on the other side and actually get a better shot of this. A little tough C from the left side. So what we ended up having to do is get a little bit of a... There's several things we had to do. One, we had to get uh, an adapter. Okay, and the reason that is because we needed to drop the drive shaft to the right side and not the left side where it normally is where this transfer case works on a 2000 Chevrolet, okay? So that was the first thing that we had to uh, figure out. 
And we had to work on the transfer case as well to match the 4L80E that's in here. So we needed to put a 32 spline in that big fella in order to get it to match the uh, transmission. And I think that was a 27 that was originally in those. We also had to get, you know, this adapter. So this adapter here is also new. <clears throat> and then that adapter mounts to transmission uh, mount and, of course, your cross bracing. Let's see, what else do we do? Uh, did new cam sensor, crank sensor. So kind of just updated the overall, uh, some of the components that were original to to the engine, just while we had it apart, we wanted to uh, put in new sensors. And, and they're all General Motors, so we didn't use any aftermarket. So, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, we got new front and rear uh, custom drive shafts, so we put those on. I think those were, we got those from a shop here locally. I think those were about mm, 700 bucks, 750 bucks. So they're painted. Uh, and hook up to your front differential up there, which is uh, We've got a uh, new fuel tank uh, This is from tanks Inc. I think and so it's got a in in tank uh, sending unit and so that basically sends it up to to the regulator and then into the the fuel rail and on into the injectors and then here we got a a uh, filter so nice in rail filter that we can change out that'll be good got new gas tank straps that's also good we'll just be using a single tank on this setup don't don't want to get into a dual tank with this uh, I don't know if you can see it real well but uh, you can maybe see we also replaced the brake lines here so I replaced the brake lines with nine copper uh, those are, I like that stuff. If you've never used it, if you've never used a nine copper, uh, it's really flexible, easy to work with, and uh, I highly recommend it. Easy install too. <clears throat> uh, Skyjacker shocks on the back that accommodate a six inch lift. We got a new, uh, got some new hardware, new brake brake line hardware, uh, manifold, and then of course the. You know, the brake lines that go across to the uh, to the drums. I don't know if I'm going to put in the the disc at this point. I I kind of want to. I may end up doing it, but uh, I think for the time being, it'll stay stay a drum setup. If I if I get it out and I don't like it, I, I might do it. So here's another look at the tank from this side. Uh, these are the, the headers I ordered. These will accommodate getting this six liter in between the frame rails. These are skinnier. Uh, we couldn't get the originals to work, and that's too bad because I wasn't too long ago I had those exhaust <clears throat> manifold gaskets replaced. But nonetheless, uh, these are ceramic coated. Uh, they took uh, almost almost five months to get. They took a really long time to get. So this is uh, these were about. These are about 400 or so, so this is kind of what comes with it, but that's what will get added to the heads when I get a little bit of time. Well, I hope you enjoyed the update. Uh, hopefully, we'll get in some body work here soon so we can get the project and keep it moving along. But for now, uh, I think this frame and drivetrain are kind of done for the moment uh, obviously start having to start working on some what we're going to do with electrical if we're going to probably end up buying something and then having to do a little bit of customization to it so well well uh thanks for tuning in and uh we'll talk to you soon bye